What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more modern action here on, uh, well, on the internet. <clears throat> on the internet. On youtube.com slash franklapore. Or on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Wherever, wherever you, you so choose to watch. Haslock, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the Thunderdome, as they say. No one says that. And me undies pre so Oh, no. No, that's... They don't send me any of the undies you order beforehand, so take take comfort in that. Um, what we're gonna do today? I didn't actually upload this list. I'll only upload this list. We're gonna be we're gonna be monking around, courtesy of Haj Gulashi. Monking himself. around, he says. That's right. It's the name of the deck, monking around. Hey, buddy, just monking around over here. Nature's little treasure. Oh my God! Ten months in a row. Long time viewer, first time caller. A question for my two favorite dingleberries. What is smells? It's a good question. That's a. Uh, I gotta go. I, where are you gonna go? Just, just away. You gonna go smell some things? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like what you'd do. I'm over here monking around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna list this as an RNA, so people know. Anyone had any gastrointestinal parasites? Not lately. Oh, the, the Japan vending machine underwear? Yeah, those are still, those are going on, which is why I can't also sell them through MeUndies. I have to sell them in either one place or the other. They don't like it when you double dip, so to speak. <clears throat> you're going nowhere, I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of... You're going nowhere. Is this, are you doing the bone saw bit from Spider-Man 1? This is really commitment, man. All right, so anyway. Uh, this is the second iteration of Monkin' Around, courtesy of Hodge Gulashi. Interestingly enough, we got a bunch of uh, Orzov cards in the new set, so maybe we can find something that fits. I don't think so, because it's very rare you find, like, modern playable cards in new sets. But uh, we, we top out at four. We got 24 lands. We have Shambling Venturinos, one Vault of the Archangel, one Westvale Abbey. Ways to make tokens include Lingering Souls and Monastery Mentor. We have a bunch of one drops because you want to be able to trigger this guy a couple times. What are you drinking? This is a venti white chocolate mocha. You're a venti white chocolate mocha. <coughs> Got him. I am. And we have two Emerge Unscathes, also to protect our Monastery Mentors. <clears throat> and they rebound, so you get to cast twice. Happy birthday, Mike. Everybody in the chat, make sure you wish Michael a happy birthday. It Please is Mike's don't. birthday not, today. These are all lies. And he's got, he's first Very time true. Get, we're going to be going to get some Impossible Burgers later. It's going to be great. And he's going to just try to have the best birthday. I'm probably just going to get a regular burger. So be sure to wish Michael a happy birthday in the chat. All right, if you're on YouTube, leave some birthday comments. Leave some birthday love on the YouTube comments for Michael so I can so I can clip them and send them to him while he's at work. He likes that. He hey, really, man. <laughs> what the hell is this? That's... This is contraband, buddy. <laughs> this is contraband. <laughs> that was way funnier than it should have been. Those I actually had those out because I was like, oh, let me sleeve these up and put them in my modern box so that I would have them because I have all my modern playable stuff in sleeved up and in boxes. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so. Uh, I guess I can just put those back where they came from now. Biovisionary, 15 months in a row. I figured out the mobile Twitch Prime reset. Wow, is it a... Can you do that? Or was yeah, it... You did can. you just do what I said? I am going to... Uh, I'm just going to play this deck as is. One thing I want to consider is Damping Sphere in the sideboard. I don't know if we have a lot of Tron hate is my is my issue. Uh, Stony Silence is fine against Tron, but that's pretty much it. You can rune Halo if you name Karn, and then they'll play Ugin and get rid of rune Halo if you name... Ugin, they can get rid of a Karn. So it's kind of like, I don't like Rune Halo that much, I'll be honest. I guess you can name like Gurmag Angler, but like the problem is like, whatever you take care of with Rune Halo, you can probably just take care of with Celestial Purge, right? The sideboard seems to be my biggest concern right now. Anguish on making, I'm also not a huge fan of. What's that other four drop there? Not the Sorn or the other Planeswalker? Settle the Wreckage? I don't oh. like Settle the Wreckage in this deck either. That's weird. I just don't think it's great in Modern is really what it is. I just don't think that many decks are attacking with so many creatures that you really need to settle. And this deck can also go wide. So I feel like you're actually... And you also have four Fatal Push and four Path. Like this is... This is eight. 
eight one mana removal spells. Yeah, if I were to make a snap judgment right now, I would take those subtle records. I would take the subtle anthems. I like intangible virtue actually. The only thing that doesn't get pumped by intangible virtue is the monastery mentor, but your lingering souls do, your Gideons do, and your Sorens do. Ashiki, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Haj Gulashi, have you considered intangible virtue at all? It also does trigger uh, Monastery Mentor, which is pretty funny. <clears throat> it's funny. Haha. -ha. It is funny. Laugh. Laugh at its triggering Monastery Mentor. All right, I'm going to try it. The only problem with this deck, too, is the fact that, like, if you don't get one of your token makers, like... Well, there's a good amount, though. Like, you have 13 cards that make tokens or, like, token aids ethereal absolution. Yeah, I was actually... Uh, there was a part of me that was going to mention that as, like, a meme. I don't think six mana is where you want to be in modern, but... I think if that card costs four, I think you'd be in real good shape here. God, we have all eight discard spells, all eight one mana removal spells. And these are all very good. I'm not sure if it is intangible virtue, because like if you draw this without token makers, you just you're just done so in the bunzo, right? That's true. <clears throat> I don't see I don't foresee us playing uh Ethereal Absolution. It just costs too much. I do want something else, though. Like, I want something else instead of Settle the Wreckage. What about, um... Go on. Structural Possession. What? Structural Possession? Spectral Possession? Um... Like three one Flyers? And it triggers Mentor. So if they, like, kill our Mentor... How many ways do we have to, like... I guess we have a bunch of ways to like re up. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like Angel of Grace either. Like it's five mana. Like five mana is just a lot in modern. Maybe actually it could be good. I don't know, man. That's an interesting suggestion. I don't hate it. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try Intangible Virtue just because it could just be good. It could just be Blowouts, Blowout City. <clears throat> Alternatively, it could just be Honor of the Pure. Because Honor of the Pure actually also, all the, all the tokens are white, except for Soren tokens. So by giving up Intangible Virtue, these tokens don't get buffed. But by using Honor of the Pure instead, Monastery Mentor gets buffed. So <clears throat> we give up Vigilance. Vigilance is pretty good, though. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll take the vigilance. I think it's fine. Let's try it out. All right, let's let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. We just monking around. It's okay. We're just having a good. Just monking around. Just monking around. Hey, buddy, what's this? This is contraband. Can I make you? No, you are at max. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I can move. I can scoot this over. There you go. I just feel like more of you should be on the screen. We should see all of you on your birthday, especially. Bear. What? Bear. I'm sorry, what? Bear. Hmm. Bear. Okay. I understand. I understand. <clears throat> Apparently meant to get it at 115 today now. Wow, I thought this was I thought it was supposed to get better, not worse. Happy birthday. Happy Does someone else have my infliction? Your affliction? Yeah. What is it? Getting up late. Where did you see that? So apparently meant to get up about a one fifteen today. You? No, I'm talking about the, the chat. Oh, get up about no 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 one fifteen Fahrenheit the temperature. Oh yeah, because yesterday it was supposed to be it was supposed to be lower today, so now it's it's supposed to be one fifteen. Can you imagine one fifteen, man? That's real hot. What what what's the temperature here? Let's find out. Like seventy something. That's a lot. I don't know if this is a good hand. I don't feel like it is. I feel like it has to go now. 
I don't think the one. I don't think the one land's really gonna do it for us. <clears throat> Two lands with an Inquisition. How many Godless Shrines do we have? I want a full set of Godless Shrines in this deck. I also kind of like Concealed Courtyard because this is a deck where like. Yeah, I think there's too many basics here. This is a deck where you actually don't... Uh... Like, if your lands come into play tapped on turn 4, it usually doesn't matter. <clears throat> so that's a change we're already making. I would love to keep... This hand would be amazing if one of these was a Concealed Courtyard. I can't go to 5, though, but... You know. Yeah, no. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's a great draw on the... Dr it was a great draw on the... Dr I can't do it. I can't do it. I have a Liners in right now, so hey, I look, can't... Tron. <laughs> God, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is the matchup where I'm like, you know, I don't feel like our Tron matchup's going to be good. We don't have a lot of things. Oh, you got a Power Plant? Okay, you don't have... Oh, a Reality Smasher. Oh, it's Eldrazi Tron. Well, we just... We took your answer to a Monastery Mentor, but I don't know how we actually deal with a Worm Coil Engine long-term short of getting a... Uh... Well, until they get that third Tron piece, I think we're good. That's what you think. Intangible Virtue. Dang it. I thought it was for a second. All right, Power Plant done. Here we go. They're going to naturally draw it. You ready? No, it's another tower. Got him. They suck. You suck. Oh, can we just mentor into... Yeah, let's do that. They don't have an answer for this. No way. Also, land would be nice, because then we can play either of these, make a token, make another token, and then we're like... They can't. They basically can't win. They also don't have a green source, which is great, because they don't... If they draw, like, a Sylvan... Sylvan Rain? Sylvan Scry. Sylvan Rain. Sylvan Rain. So the question is, do we Lingering Souls here, or do we just play another Mentor? I think we Lingy. Then we get so many tokens from this, though. Yeah, like you Lingy, the next turn you Mentor. Well, if we Mentor this turn, then we can Lingy next turn and get... Oh, no, we're Mentoring. Because if, if we draw a land and we play a Planeswalker, like, we're just going to get so far ahead, Right. I've been watching on YouTube recently. Now I'm not used to watching you guys at actual speed. Could you talk at 1.5 speed, please? Yeah, but then if you watch on YouTube and we're talking on 1.5 and then you you buff it to 1.5, it's just awkward all around. Are you going to attack with this guy? Oh, God. And they also have Ghost Quarters, so they're like naturally casting Worm Coil next turn. That's pretty brutal. Hmm. Look at all these triggers, my, my dude. Take it easy. All right. Actually, I don't know whether to make an emblem here or make a 1-1 one, one with... I guess if they kill Soren, I'd rather just have the emblem. Like, if they're going to kill Soren, they get the least value out of the emblem, so... Oh, God, just let me draw a path, please. One time. One time. I just want a path. There's a ghost quarter. So now one of the cards, and it's a worm, a wormy boy. Very aggressive. Go ahead, Soren. Yeah, we can't save that. So, if there's one thing I know about Reality Smasher. So that it has trample. He smash. He does smash. You know what else smashes? This idiot. Do we just win on the spot if we draw Path Exile? I think we do. Come on, one time. Dang it. That's a Marsh Flats. Not as good. It is not as good. We can go Souls, Souls. We attack for what? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And they gain 6. So they go to seven? No. They go to... F Just I have put them at 16 and then do the math. It's easier that way. But I don't know if I want to do that if it's not, like, <clears throat> super productive. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Whatever. I guess it's fine. Okay. We also have a lot of blockers this way. Good lord. Look at the things that are happening right now. Upgrade Brigade, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Alright, so if we attack with all of these guys, this is a lot of sh <laughs> This is unbelievable. So they block here, right? 
They gain six, they're at 16. They take five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. They go to three. That seems good. Yeah, that's probably worth an attack. I'm in. I'm in. So they gain six here, which puts them at a nine. But I feel like our board's pretty far ahead if they don't. If they if they attack, they're only gaining six. They can't like also block. So I feel like we're in good shape. Well, they have to attack because they're just dead to our flyers. You're dead to our flyers. Am I? All right. Well, they died. So I guess that's how you beat Tron, right? You just they oh, look. It's too wild and crazy, guys. I guess you just beat Tron by letting them not get Tron. Yeah, that's a good way. Is Stony sounds good? I don't know if the Eldrazi version has like chromatic spheres and stuff. I didn't see any. Hmm. I don't think rest in peace matters. Nope. Cambal traditionally probably doesn't matter that much. I kind of like Anguished on Making here, which is weird because I, I did shit on a little bit. I was like, oh, Anguished on Making, it's kind of dumb. I don't think Disenchant is great, is it? I don't know. I don't know what is this. What does this Eldrazi Tron list even play? What do we have here? I'm going to look it up right now. Rally Smashers, Thought Nuts here. It looks like the mana base is no forest. It's mostly just Tron lands. They have Expedition Map, but they don't have... Um, like Sylvan Scrying or Ancient Stirrings. <clears throat> it plays Eldrazi's. <laughs> Is Eldrazi naturally plural, like uh, Moose or uh, Michael? Moose or Michael? That's the name of my new podcast, Moose or Michael. You guys can check it out on, on, on all, or you can find podcasts, Spotify, iTunes. Moose or Michael, you can't. And it's and that lie. and that way, when you listen to it, we basically every week we go over whether this is a moose or if it's a Michael. And uh, it's like a game. It's like a little game we get to play every week. It's, we have to figure it out. So we, they have Chalice of the Void. Actually, Disenchant might be good for Chalice because I can see them putting it on one. I can see Fatal Push. It's not great, but it does kill Thought Knots here. Eh, that's actually decent, I guess. I can take out two Inquisitions, and we'll take out one Fatal Push. We'll bring in two Disenchants and Anguished on Making. I don't think Rune Halo is great because their diversity of threats is very high. Stony Stony Silence kind of shuts off like Walking Ballista. But that's pretty much it. It does not seem worth a slot. Yeah. I think we're fine like this. <clears throat> oh, man. Again with the one land hands. Come on. So I was told I actually need a picture for my work email account in order to be more professional. So can anyone give me a reason not to make it the surprise Pikachu face? I have none. <clears throat> Sounds amazing. I will keep this hand not. Those are all, those are all unintentional Borat I did there. I will keep this hand not. <clears throat> it was it's the best kind of Borat. It's the, the unintentional Borat is the best kind of Borat. All right, so they did it. So it's they will no doubt have Tron on turn three. Can we just ban Expedition Map in Modern? Is that a thing we can do? Are we at a point that we can just be like, look, we all don't like it. No one's having a good time. When you sit down and your opponent plays a turn one Expedition Map, we all know what's going on. No one's having a good time. What if they're playing Dark Depths instead? What? What if they're playing Dark Depths? Mm -hmm. I think that's still not great, right? I don't know. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> that's pretty sick. That's some nice tech right there. Two drop. You guys, are either of you excited for the Resident Evil 2 remake this release? I am excited for that, yes. I think we should play it like we did RE7. You want to you stream it? Yeah. 
Okay. Poopy time. Does it come out on PC as well? <laughs> Shut your mouth. I hope so. God. What doesn't come out on PC nowadays? Am I right? Several things. <sighs> this is awkward. I don't want to path this guy because we can fatal push it. Whatever. I'll just let him have it. I'll just let him have it. You know what? You can have it. <clears throat> Do it? Yeah, it does. Wow, that answers both the questions in one. That was nice. That was a, that was sort of a twofer. Well, let's see what Pan Expedition map when they find that ancient Sturgis guy in the cabinet. <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing in there? Oh, they took the... Oh, they didn't take the Fatal Push. Oh, that's great, because now we can crack Marsh Flats and Fatal Push this idiot. Idiot. Let's go to planes here. There's no double black spells, so we can still cast whatever we need. Give my card back. Oh, all right, sure. This worked out quite well. Oh wow, your hands your hands terrible. You have a map on board and you have another map in hand, so I'm just gonna take. Oh, Ratchet Pump's so good against this though, but this gives you Tron. Your hand sucks, but this is like kind of awkward. I guess we could just play around Ratchet Pump, kind of. I don't know. That was kind of a, a weird kind of... I would have said Ratchet Pong. Wow. I mean, I don't want to give them Tron, because it turns on so many of their threats. I mean, they could just draw it naturally, I guess. I don't know, man. Magic's hard, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. It's a little... A little Logan... A little Jake Paul meme there. All right, so that's gone. They played the temple. So now they basically have Tron anyway. Hmm. So it's actually anguished on making this. And then double lingering souls. Eldrazi spells, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. They could cast this. And they would get rid of our tokens. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the same. This is one of the reasons I didn't take Ratchet Bomb, because they have a lot of redundancy here with both of these. We could also, we could also just play Lingering Souls for three. I think that's fine. Or, you know, but cast it once is what I'm saying. It's hard to... It's hard to use English sometimes. It's hard to use English. Mike's down with drink number one. He's on drink number two now. Mm-hmm. You gotta upgrade sometimes. Oh, look at this. Look at this, dude. He's gonna smash you. I don't think he is. I'm gonna path this guy. We can go to this swamp. I mean, they can get a waste here. It's whatever. Non land, right? All right, so we can attack with this. You think that could kill lands? That'd be the best thing ever. <laughs> like, I guess that's true. Like, <laughs> two mana Armageddon. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. You're like, all right, I'll activate Ratchet Bomb for zero. Destroy all the lands, right? Huh. Oh, great. Great success. They're probably just going to exile our, our lingering souls now, but I mean, it's all fine. They got they got they got 9 turns left before they die, so 9 turns. Yeah. They're 18. Nine. Oh, after this attack. Gotcha. Yeah, bro. Come on. They didn't do anything. That's fascinating. Because now I can just bring these back. Which I'm going to gonna do. <laughs> the old double all is dust. A classic. 
I mean, if they hit like an Enbring, eh, we have Anguish Stone making, I guess. Oh, they hit Tron. Are they going to all his dust here? Wow, all his dust for two tokens. Aggressive. That's aggressive. All right, I guess we're just attacking with Shambling Band. I told you nine. T wow. The problem is if they draw like Reality Smasher, they can equip this and then just. Oh, God, it's just disgusting. They didn't. They drew a land. What did I tell you about this Shambling Band? Let's just do this. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Michael. We're gonna tell uh we're gonna tell them that it's Mike's birthday and I can get him a little cake. Or not. Gonna get you I'm gonna discard the Inquisition, actually, because at this point if they draw any spell that costs three or less, they're just gonna play it, so. Whereas this still deal, still deals with the uh, Chalice of the Void, uh, Walking Ballista, the Basilisk Collar, you know stuff like that. You know, it's eh, stuff like that. You know. Seven turns, bro. Happy birthday, Michael B. Sung to the tune of Nationwise on your side. Did they draw another land? Did they draw another tower? Wow. I feel like with this hand, we're actually not in terrible shape. Like, we can path a Worm Coil Engine. We can path a Thought Not Seer. Are we seriously just going to win with this Shambling event? Is this real? All right, you get five turns. You got to draw something in five turns, and we have uh, several answers. Oh, man, this is crazy. And this will can't be a sorcery sweet answer. Yeah, you can take your all his dust and get right on out of here. What's going on here? Walking Ballista for like a thousand? Yeah, that's what I figured. Worth noting, I wasn't even looking at the screen. I just knew. If they try to equip this, we're we're killing it immediately. We take six, but like, that's a small price to pay, my friend. Manate. Did Frank just do Turkish amphetamines? Uh, I did not do them. No, that's not true. I did not do them. I can't lie about that. I just feel like I just, I just cried a little bit after I put eye drops, and I'm like, oh god. Crack Clan Ironworks. <laughs> Just gets to me, man. Take a look at my previous comment. One typo, Buck. All right, hold on. In your FAQ section, there's a little typo in the last line before donate. If it isn't Mike, then it's like Rob. Uh, sorry, but I just saw it and can't ignore it unless it's some... No, I don't think that is a meme. I think that's a typo. And now I just feel bad. Now I have to go to my channel and fix it. I don't think that's it. I think that's actually my channel settings. God, it's so... Twitch is actually complicated to navigate. Like, when you're... You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm not going to get into it now. What I am going to do is put you down to eight and draw a second shambling... Oh, damn it. That's so much worse. You're right. We're going to hold it, though, because if they play another Reality Smash, we're going to be able to just discard the land. Although, that would be three. Boy, we're shambling, all right. Shambling on over. Still nothing, huh? This is amazing. I also want to make sure we have enough mana to... Uh... This is ridiculous, dude. Alright, hold on. Where does it say? It's in the donate. Uh, you can speak to us and show us the... Uh, link to... Where, did you... Where are you saying right now? 
In the FAQ section, okay. Uh, that's my mention. Or so are Robert. These are all nicknames he's earned. If it's not Mike, then it's like Rob. That's. Oh no, I think that is. I don't think that is a typo. Actually, interestingly enough. I think I'm just gonna path this guy. We're so close, right? They don't get the they don't get the the draw card if we path this guy. So I just hate losing path. But we also can't get in there with shambling vent anymore. I'm just gonna path this guy. We've drawn. We've also to be fair, we've drawn pretty poorly this game as well. We've drawn a lot of removal. We've drawn like zero gas. We're literally winning with with we've we've dealt 14 points of the shambling vent. So like. As we continue to shambling vent. I guess we'll play this in case we get some tokens. Alright, now we are left with a lone disenchant, unfortunately. I actually don't know if it is a typo. It's, I, I, worded, I worded it weirdly, and I didn't actually use commas. But, like, I think I said it's like Rob, because um, it might not be Rob. Then it's like Rob. You know, like, it was kind of like a, eh, if it's not Mike, then it's like, god damn it. Well. It's still fine. We're going to get rid of the Basilisk Collar. Like, we're, we're in a really good... We're still fine. If we don't, yeah, if we don't, if we kill it first, then they're not going to attack, likely, so... So now they go to two. This is ridiculous. Honor of the Pure would also pump Shambling Vent, which is interesting. Huh. Wow. Are we going to lose it too? This is going to be real awkward. Can Knights Whisper target opponents? Is that an out for us? No. Dang it. Why can't you be more like your brother's sign and blood? blood. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. This is so awkward. Well, they can't attack though, so. No, I don't think you imagined it in your head. I think it's because it's like, that's a literal meme, right? Like if I called him Mike Rob. But what? I'd probably call him Swole Mike. He's attacking? Why? <laughs> um, one, two, three. I guess they drew something. I guess they did. Now I'm afraid. You gotta go for it. Did they just forget? I don't, there's no way they forgot, right? I've dealt 18 points with the shambling vent. Oh dang it! If this was, oh man, if this was, a, if this was an honor of the pure, they just happened to draw spatial contortion the turn they need it, literal turn they need it because you know they would die. I think we're still okay. Like, if we draw Lingering Souls or something, it's very good. One, two, three, four, five. And we can play a land and still keep up all of Dark Angel. <laughs> when you draw all your lands, guess I'll die. <laughs> oh, one time. One time something good that's not a land. It's a land. I really don't want to go to game three here. Oh, God. <laughs> Honor the Pure wouldn't work either. How would it not work? It would make my Shambling Vent a 3-4. And then Spatial Contortion would make it uh, a 6-1. It's a white creature. It's a black and white elemental. So I have no idea why that wouldn't work. Hey, man, I found a use for your thing. A use for my thing? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's nice. Dang it. Did I mess it up? You messed it up. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I guess we're not dead. Oh wow! <clears throat> I just got a walking ballista. No, all the all the lands become colored creatures of their type. So like the wandering fumarole is a red red blue guy, etc. etc. Yeah, seems good. God, I wish I could draw. Those with some this. good draws. Those are some good draws. I guess I'll take it. 
and then I'll concede the God. This game we did not deserve. We didn't deserve to win this game, but I don't think we deserve to lose it either. Yeah, you can definitely see the uh, the merit of. Yeah, so things that get buffed by um, Honor of the Pure. Things that don't get buffed by Honor of the Pure. So two things, and thir two, 2 to 13. And things that don't get buffed by Intangible Virtue. Also, Gideon, when he's a creature, also gets buffed by Honor of the Pure, which is worth noting. So 9 to 6. Yeah, I just think Honor of the Pure wins. Badger with a gifted sub, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the extra fifteen, the extra five subs, buddy. Man, Badger, I feel like you rarely, you rarely get to watch live, but when you do, I kind of want these cam balls in here. To be honest, they played a lot of stupid spells, a lot of artifact nonsense. I think I emerge unscathed. Actually, that's pretty terrible, right? Yeah, we didn't see like, any removal. Well, no, they don't have any colored spells in their deck. Oh, right. Yeah, it's not Apostle's Blessing where you can choose, like, Artifact or Colorless, right? That's super sad that we just left those in there. Oh, that's terrible. I wish I was better at this game. Blood Baron in the sideboard? I do like a Blood Baron. I like a Blood Baron in, in the main deck, buddy. Yeah, this is a keeper. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's see what we got here. Mind Stone, Expedition Map, All is Dust. Temple, Temple, Waste. This hand is not great. Nope. I don't think we care about Ratchet Bomb, because we have Gideon. Uh, I don't think we care about... You have no Tron land, so I'm not super concerned with Expedition Map here. Mindstone ramps you into scary things, but you already have double these. Maybe it's just all his dust. Yeah. It does get rid of Gideon. Yeah, we'll get rid of the all his dust, sure. And you can play it like as, as soon as like turn four or five. We can also just kill this. Uh, temple, map. That was a good draw. So despite the fact that we can... Oh, they're going to they're gonna have drawn Thought Knots here in the last two cards. Oh, no, that's a one. All right, sure. Other Eldrazi Temple. I kind of like keeping Angus on making because because if they do play Thought Knots here, we can kill it, and we take two next turn from the Gideon. Also, if they have land, so Rally Smasher is also a live draw that we kind of want to get rid of. So I guess we'll just play this. I'd rather take three than eight, <laughs> so. All the lights in my house died last night. You could say I was delighted. Wow. You could say that, but you shouldn't. Here's the Rally Smasher that we were afraid of. Predict in the future. Like it's hot. Hot trash. Like it is. Hot trash. God, I really like the one Vault of the Archangel, too. I think we should have played this over the Swamp. I think that was a mistake. Well, you have, like, no double black cards, so yeah. Wow. I got wrecked there. Thanks, Magic. So another hand is Mindstone Ratchet Bomb. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's how you sound. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. We can play back the tape. It'll sound just like that.
Let's roll the videotape. Wow. Alright, so now we know you have one ratchet bomb in hand. Well, let's get in there. Oh, I was like, what do you have? What can you do? Yeah, it would be gas if we could just play our extra land and one of these was a vault and we can activate vault to gain seven. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Here comes a reality smasher. God, it's always a fucking reality smasher. It's not. He changed his mind. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> that you sound? Wow. I mean, you knew what you did. Here it is. It is a reality smasher. They changed their mind. Okay. Oh, they're just going to kill Gideon, too? That's brutal. Joke's on you. I have another Gideon. I have another land. God, this Vault of the Archangel is just... Being at 20 instead of being at 13, that was a misplay. This card is so hard to deal with. Like, it's unbelievably hard to deal with. It's time to just make an emblem. Like, Gideon's going to die anyway. If we can make a guy and block and attack for and two, then... I think Gideon goes to one. I feel like it's just emblem time. It makes so many of our other draws just so much better. I just do wish we had 17 life instead of, or 20 life instead of 13. Well, that's just real immature. Got them. They're basically dead now. Now they're, yeah, they're packing in, packing in, buddy. In response, I will destroy your one token. Maybe. Yep, they did. All right, so we go to three, unless they play second reality smasher, in which case, then we die. Oh, he had a thing to pump it. We're dead. Oh, the spatial contortion. Fantastic. All right, so we've learned our lesson about intangible virtue for sure. I think honor is probably pretty good here, though. Are there any two mana cards that we can put in instead? I don't want to make it just tokens, though. But I don't actually hate, like, raise the alarm with monastery mentors. Hmm. You can probably cut some removal. I mean, we can definitely cut like one fatal push and one thought seize. Like these are very easy to cut. I also don't know if I love emerge unscathed. I think it's cute, but like, there's a lot of decks that just don't care about emerge unscathed. And like, I think your deck is going wide enough that like, Shut up and take my money. one I like donuts, Buck. Same, buddy. Same. Cut white, put red, and flood with... That kind of defeats the purpose of the Monastery Mentor deck, but I then we're not really monking around. Actually, let's look up monks. Are there any other monks? There are a lot of monks. Good lord. Are there any other good monks in modern? Any modern monks? Oh, modern cut black monks. and put red. That makes more sense. That seems like the exact opposite of what you meant. Abbot of Carol Keep is a monk. Are there any black monks, you think? Or would that just be uh, so far outside of the color pie? I didn't know Sarah Ascendant was a human monk. That's interesting. Did you know that because of Commander? Nope. 
<laughs> He's like, why so do I you... don't keep up with all the <laughs> subtype of creatures that are in command? You don't think that's a commander feature? Acknowledge my acknowledgement that you acknowledge you didn't have lethal. <laughs> CX in the chat. I acknowledge that. I did not have lethal. I'm going to take one thought seize out because I think eight of these is too many. I can also take a one fatal push, put it on the board if we really need it. I'm not a ruined Halo fan. I'm going to just cut it. I'm going to put it in the garbage can. Uh, I don't love... I don't love Disenchant and Stony Silence, especially if we yeah, have where's Angel the, Where's the dampening sphere at, yo? Where is the dampening... Damping, damping sphere, not dampening sphere. Damping. You're not, you're, not, you're not dampening it. You're not making it wetter. You're kind of like... You're, you're, you're damping it down. Got me? No. Good talk. Zealous Persecution? What are we bringing Zealous in? When it's good. Oh, that's a... Yeah, actually... I it's, think it's for the mirror. I don't think there is a mirror. Why not? Because the, no one, the, people don't play this deck. This isn't like a this isn't like a meta deck, man. It's almost like it's a black meta white deck, tokens, man. Basically, Quan Ogre Ascendant, legendary. This is what there's a Quan here. It's a oh triple black, huh? Let's go to quantity zero. I bet I don't own any Quans. Oh wow! Look at that Ogre Monk. What the hell? What does that thing do? I wish you could flip these on Magic Online so I could actually read this without, like, turning my head upside down. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. Okay, cool. And he's a 2-4 he's a for 3 at the beginning of the end step. If three or more creatures die, you flip him. What does he do on the flip side? I actually don't hate Pack Rat, and that's super... That's super. If we make Pack Rat, Pack Rat tokens, do they get buffed by Intangible Virtue? Um, oh, that's interesting. Maybe? Do you want to make that R2 include? I mean, I kind of do, yeah. I'm going to take the Zealous out. Uh, I do like Damping Sphere a lot. I'm going to add three of these boys. Stony Sound is also great against, like, Tron and stuff. Not Tron, but, like, well, Tron, but also, like, uh, Affinity. Harden Scales Affinity, things like that. Here's some CX in the chat bits. Can you guys, did they explain CX in the chat? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Really? You're looking in. You're gonna Crusade is modern legal? No. Crusade is not modern legal. Is Crusade white creatures? Is my other creatures a better crusade? It's like you don't own anybody. No, it's because I have modern on here. I should have like eight or four or something, because they were in the, the Tezzeret versus There we go. White, white, white creatures get plus one plus one. Yeah, it's just worse than Honor of the Pure because it's literally harder to cast. Yeah, but you get that cool vintage vibe. You do. You do, for the cost of uh, making your mana worse. The new black-white six-drop enchantment. No, it's six mana. I'm going to take one Gideon out, because I think four Planeswalkers is enough. We can probably also go down to 23 lands, if that's the case. So now we have a lot of... We have some room to play with. Take out Merge. What if we bring in... What if we bring in four intangibles really going crazy here and we also bring in four pack rats what if we're ratting around here discarding cards to pack rat like the tokens would be one bigger right why not try the new enchantment that gets plus on neg one because it's six mana that's literally why six mana is way too much for that effect it is it's too much for it's too much for the effect in modern is really what it comes down to do you play something for six mana and modern to better win you the game on the spot? Yeah, it's got to be really ridiculous. Uh, I do like Celestial Purge a lot. We also have Anguish Stone Making. Uh, we want to deal with things like um, Ensnaring Bridge, which is why we do have the Anguish Stone Makings. We also have like seven discard spells, which is which is nice. Uh, surgical could be nice, actually. I like two Surgicals. Rob has really gotten me on board with Surgicals recently. I think they can take place with one rest in peace. I will continue to give random advice until something either sticks or they kick me out. Well, I don't think anybody's going to kick you out. You are good people. Do we like Pack Rat? I'd like to try it. Is it known in Procession Double? If I can create one or more tokens, it creates twice that many tokens. Are we just crazy enough to play in Procession? No. Get out of here. 
Every ever if we go monastery mantor into anointed procession, it makes two tokens. Yes. If we go procession into lingering souls, it makes four. Mm-hmm. No man, no, it's four mana. So are these? Yeah, but those are better. Those actually do stuff. Thank you. I don't know if I want four pack rats, do we? Yeah, that's the maximum amount you can play. If we could, I'd play like seven of those things. <laughs> Billy with the gifted sub, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Has given 125 gift subs in this channel. Jesus. <laughs> It's like a thousand dollars. It's not, but that's ridiculous, dude. Thank you so much, Billy. You are the man. Oh my god. Jesus is right. Alright, let's do it. Four pack rats. Four in in see, once we have pack rats, I'm all I'm on board the intangible virtue train. Is this any good? Mm, yes. Yeah, see, Concealed Courtyard's just doing... It's doing the Lord's work already. Did you like that? Yeah. Did you chuckle a little bit? I heard I a little chuckle there. What a chef this? at Dunes. What's happening right now? What does now? that do? Nothing. <laughs> uh, that's not the right one. Let's find out what's going on here. Let me get this straight. If I pay $50, you'll play any deck I put together. Despite being an atrocious homebrew, I used to play against a really slow guy at the local game shop. <laughs> oh, this deck is so bad, but love the theme. Yes, yes, I could. I would definitely do that. And I believe we'd have a good time doing it. Actually, really, Chalice. Oof. So your hand is Dismember, Dismember, Chalice, and another Eldrazi Temple deck? I'm real confused. Wow, if they Chaliced on one here, oh my god. But da da da, but da 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 but da da da. Wow, that's pretty good. Seems good, right? Go them. Oh, you night whispered. I because I want to make sure I hit a land for this. Okay, I would intangible virtue and hope for the best. I would rather just. I'd rather actually. Well, because then also intangible virtue triggers this guy. So like, we're not gonna be playing any of these anytime soon. No, that was nice. Oh, oops. Well, they both would come to play tap, so it doesn't oh, yeah, really sure. matter. The one thing that's nice is that we can cast all of these into Monastery Mentor. Which, even if they don't trigger, or even if they don't resolve, they still get to trigger. They had played a Gemstone, they played an Eldrazi Temple, they played a Thalia. So we now have two Dismembers in hand. And a... Is this real life? Is this Eldrazi Winter all over again? I think we're dead. So we take eight and eight. Like, can you imagine this game if they had not top deck this? I can't. That'd be impossible. We could play this and block, and then we no, take. No, we can't. They're just gonna dismember it. Oh, it also enters battlefield tap because of this. So even if it didn't. Yeah. All right. Wow. I have no idea what just happened. We died. Very hastily. Very hastily. Click, click, boom. Why are you taking a pack rat at? Because I have to bring in things in. Bring in things. Yeah, why pack I have rat? to bring in things in, Michael. Um, why pack rat? Because I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like it's a little slow in this matchup, to be quite honest with you. The two drop slow? Uh, not that it's it's a two drop, sure, but it actually takes a significant amount of turns before it actually has an impact on the board. Like one turn? No, I don't think so, buddy. Man, once they're two twos, the game's just over. Yeah, you're right. Would you like to play first? I think so. 
Would you like to mulligan this hand? I think I so. I don't know. Really? Okay, now we can rat. Now we can get our rat on. You were clearly on the wrong side of the tentacles. Didn't you learn from yesterday? I should have. We were unbeatable yesterday, and now today it's like, meh. Yeah. Well, you playing Eldrazi last yesterday? Yeah, we played Mono Red Eldrazi, and we went 4-0. Against Jund, Jund, Tron, and uh, somebody help me out here. Why are you red? Because someone asked us to play their Mono Red Eldrazi list. I mean, like, what was red about it? Oh, why were you red? Uh, lightning Bolts. I just bring up the deck. Are you ready for this? It's gonna be amazing. Nope, not with the white. It's not. Also, we don't. We still have to draw a land here in order to. Let's go to uh, dicks. My dicks. Merfolk. There we go. Nailed it. It's Merfolk. That's why. That's where your model red. No, that was the other deck that we won against. We went against Merfolk Tron and two John oh. decks. Are you going to dismember this guy? Are you going to play a human Thalia? Or are you going to play Chalice on one again? This is why people don't like you. We just drew a, another one drop. Yeah, the Chalice on one's uh, pretty good against us. I don't know if you guys knew that. However, Packrat being able to discard all your one drops is also not terrible. So we had Pia and Kieran Alar. Oh, this is the actual... Oh, this is not the, the updated list. Thalia, huh? Okay. Well, joke's on you, buddy. I got rats for days. Why do you... Hot dog sandwich, why do you hate me? <laughs> wow. I don't hate you. I just don't uh, acknowledge your existence. Sell another creature, then return to the battlefield. Yeah, we're gonna actually have to anguish on making this guy because actually we can anguish on making this and then path if we hit a land. Yep, that was actually pretty good. Right, we can do that. Right, this is anguish on making you for three, and then we path for two. Wait, can't you not play path? No, we anguish on making the chalice so that our one drops are online again. Oh. So we go one, two, three, and then we path this guy for two. Unless I'm just missing something. Unless I'm like actually just terrible at this game. Which is very real. It's a very real possibility. No, because Anguish costs four. See, this is why we... Yep, that was that was what it was. We missed the, a key component. So we actually have to just get rid of this guy. See, like Anguish on four, Anguish on four, Anguish on four. Everyone, everyone knew. I just didn't. There's a lot, there's a lot going on here, guys. Please acknowledge lethal. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. See, it's like, I like that I, I, I took into account the, the, the tax on Path Textile, but not the tax on Anguish I'm making. I'm like, well, this costs three, so there's no way it costs more than that. Oh, a Ghost Quarter. How original. Let me guess. You're going to get rid of my vault? Of course you are. Rude. That was rude. So they can double block one. We trade one rat for... Both their creatures. Yeah, I'm, I'm game for that for sure. They did not. They, they did not take the bait there. They did not. God, we need black. Why is it so specific? Oh, we want a black mana for this black ability. Look at Packrat getting out of hand. Look at him go. They're going to crack that immediately because they're desperate. You ready? Oh, they're going to play four drop instead. Oh, God, why? Get out of here, man. Deccan Stone, really? That's so random. We didn't even play Pack Rat last game. Why do they have Deccan Stone? That's so random, dude. Frank, we got a problem here. There are 12 empty card sleeves out of my bad homebrew deck for the, for the slow. I know that for the slow, I know that one of them should have an ogre slumlord and some death touch rats. So you choose what is going to happen here. You can either play my witch deck to play against the slow player or my all-time favorite modern deck. I can't afford to pay 
<laughs> you were two decks. Access denied. I want you to pick whichever one we'll have more fun with. Yeah, I feel like they're like, oh, you're bringing in Packrat? I'll bring in my Declaration and Stone. Oh, you're bringing in, you got a bunch of one drops? You have literally 14 one drops in your deck? I'll bring in Chalice of the Void. I think we're dead. Yeah, it's we're dead. Which is weird, because I feel like our deck has a lot of things. I feel like we're just getting really unlucky. New Vraska? So a six mana green card? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see what's wrong with that. Oh, wait, yeah, I do everything. Oh, wait, no, I do. I, I, I misspoke. They do play four Chalice Main, but having Declaration in Stone seems just a little weird. Obviously, it's not a suspicious thing. Like, there's no way there's, like, any sort of ridiculous uh, shenanigans going on that they entered the two-man queue with. Like, that would that's just absurd. It's just funny, because I was not expecting a deck in stone. Is the new Kaya any good? I don't think so. I like this Kaya, though. This is a cool one. x two cards from a graveyard. You gain two life, at least one of them was ex if one creature was exiled this way. Okay. Admirable, does she, does she do anything though? Like, I mean, I think she's a cool card. I don't know how effective she is though. Like, exile huh. a non-land permanent permanent cost one or, one or less. She could have actually exiled the Chalice of the Void to be real. Uh, no Liliana's because we don't actually have that many ways to discard. Like, we only have Lingering Souls to really profit from. I mean, it's kind of nice against... I, like, we just played back-to-back -back Reality Smasher decks, and we played a Reality Smasher yesterday. So, I'm not sure if, uh... I'm not sure if Liliana's actually that bad of an idea because of all the, uh... <laughs> the Reality Smashers. I like Last Hope a lot. Last Hope is great. More like Last Boop. Is it more like Last Boop? Mm -hmm. hmm. I did not know that. One, play Boros Reckoner Buck. Also, if you guys do ever donate to Dex, I do appreciate if you guys go through my email instead and then just PayPal me directly because uh, then I don't get fees, which do add up a good amount. So what was this called again? What was this card called? Well, the honor of the Last Boop. Okay. Thank you, do. I, I think there's too many of these. I still think eight is too many of these. I, I like that you can trigger yeah, them that's a lot. for Monastery Mentor, but I think we're going too deep here. No, that doesn't go on the sideboard. It just leaves. Um, <sighs> what is a boat? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Are you doing okay, man? Never. Wow, I really was... I was so on board with this pack ride, and then they just have deck and stone. It's just like... Unbelievable. I don't, yeah, I'm, not a big, I'm not a big brutality fan. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. You said something at some point, though, right? I guess. I don't know, man. This is really... Our friendship... Our entire friendship is pretty confusing. I'm going to be honest with you. Play some rituals that trigger... What, rit rit what rituals? Cabal ritual? Dark ritual? Yeah, that seems to make sense. No, don't do that. That's bad. Spectral is better with Mentor than what? People keep suggesting Spectral. Three white is not super easy to get when you have swamps and, and colorless lands in your deck. I just don't think Spectral is that great here. Like, we're not playing just mono tokens. Acknowledge that red is better for the deck than black. Maybe. I mean, it's, it's possible for sure. But then we lose Lingering Souls. Like, we lose the, the value of Lingering Souls, which is not great. Also, black-white tokens has been a thing forever. Right, but we're not trying to be... Oh, are you, what, are you, what are you saying? What's your point there? Like, why is red better? I, I think he's just... I think he's just... Uh, I think it's just a meme now. Oh. Can't be that mad at your son, Mike. It's his birthday. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to get mad at you on your birthday. I don't think I got mad at him, but I, I didn't mean to blow my brains out. I, I, I felt like I got a little, maybe I got a little frustrated with you, and it's your birthday, so it's not, it's not fair. Yeah, well, you can make up to me by getting me a 
ultra stuffed Oreo. <laughs> what, what are those I'm, called? Ultra stuffed? Me- Omega chonker stuffed? Yeah, it's the ultra, ultra chonker stuffed. Uh, did you get him a pack of smokes for his present? I got him a carton, and I'm going to watch him smoke the whole thing later. Yeah, I got to light it all at once, though. <laughs> light the whole thing? Yeah, it's going to be like a harmonica of cigarettes. We actually need to find out what day my birthday, what, what day my birthday really is, and then not wish... Oh, Mike's birthday, not your birthday. What are we doing here? God, we got one slot... I don't feel like I don't feel like One just thought. I don't feel like just losing to Reality Smashers is indicative of the deck or the format right now. I also kind of want one more Shambling Vent. I'm gonna be honest. I think Shambling Vent's great, and these are actually the only lands that come into play tapped, so I'm okay with it. Frank went out to get to to him him a pack of Omega Chonk birthday Oreos and never came back because of the diabetes. <laughs> yeah, it's because I had to get my legs amputated. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so you know. I wonder why that helps when you amputate the legs. I don't think it helps when you amputate. I think they have to get amputated, right? Yeah, but why, though? Should we look it up? Yeah. Diabetes amputation. Why amputation? Actually, don't know. Diabetes can lead to peripheral artery disease. Uh, causes your blood vessels to narrow and reduces blood flow to your legs and feet. Uh, uh, oh, so you're probably, your legs and feet probably just die. Right. Gotcha. That's... Remind me to never get diabetes. Okay. Yeah, don't forget. Because sugar is heavier than blood, so it settles in the legs. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Hashtag science. I kind of just want one more Night's Whisper. Is that... That seems right, okay? I mean, that seems okay, right? Sure. Okay, we'll do that. Whatever you want, buddy. All right, let's try this. We added one Liliana. We had a fourth Night's Whisper. Let's, let's do it. Time to get smashed again. Also, even if we don't win, I still feel like this whole fun experience is worth it, right? Like, this whole thing... Is really what you guys are here for. Diabetes is the leading cause of robot legs. Wow. <laughs> I think that's actually a factual statement. It goes, diabetes, Iraq war, Bush did 9-11. In that order <laughs> of robot legs. <laughs> How does Bush did 9-11 robot legs? Yeah, you'll figure it out. No, I won't. You'll know. One day. One day when you're older. Maybe on your next birthday. What, tomorrow? Probably tomorrow, yeah. Okay. We're just going to sit in this queue. Okay, so I was tabbed out putting these decks together for you, but I heard the Sugar Legs comment and I needed to quickly tab back and just applaud. Well played. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was pretty good. The sugar sells the legs. <laughs> so then they get too heavy and you can't actually use them anymore. It's real sad. Yeah, I'll keep this in. Is that under the sea? No. What was it? Maybe it was. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe it was. It just sounded like a really like uh like you had a stroke and then you were trying to do under the sea. Okay, good good call. Good talk. I'm glad we had this conversation. Oh, their face. What are you looking at? Moon Knight. Okay. <laughs> Moon Knight. Okay. Take it easy. You don't have to be all aggressive about it. Also, the ghosts. Also, the ghosts. He lives in that little corner space right between the wall. And Whenever the- a cat just meows at the air, I'm always like, that's a ghost. That's a poltergeist. Streams and gas. The deck play is fun, but the channel support is. Yeah, I appreciate it. Appreci- We're just going to play Shambling Vent here. We're just going to play Shambling Vent here. There we go. We did it. That was weird. Magic's like, no, you're not. I'm like, no, really? I want. I just want to play this one. Is that what the place is called? Mondo Burger? Burger Monger. That's what it is. 
Burger. Burger. I gotta see what time it's open. Felipe wanted to go to a later burger place tonight. That's why we're gonna go to Forge Garage because he wants to try the Impossible Burger. They close at 10. All right. All right. It's pretty late. Get just enough time to take a nap before we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't actually know how you're alive, to be honest with you. It seems really... Uh, uh, mainly just just barely. Mainly just burly. burly. <sighs> what in the shit is going on here? Whoa, this is some dredge, boy. And we're going to be like, I'll play one Monastery Mentor. Well, we definitely know what we're bringing in here, I guess. I can't tell what this... This rip could be from anything. Mike's foot probably unplugged the Twitch during his diabetes fiasco. Oh, we're dead. That's what it's from. Okay. We've dropped a million frames so far. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. I don't remember hitting the power button. Yeah, well, you wouldn't because you blacked out. This is real rough. We're dropping frames like crazy. Is Felipe streaming? Yeah, he might be, but that's really never affected things before. Okay. Shut up and take my money. Okay. One Diabuctus. <laughs> that's solid. That's a solid... Uh, A solid, solid, solid donation meme there. So we get to go push path and then push path. Oh, I think we're good now. I think we've we've stabilized. I don't even know what's going on. Like it's hard to keep track of what's going on. Do they cast life from the loam? I don't know. What do they have in hand? I don't know. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, we can go push push path now. Isn't that your favorite? Isn't that your favorite game? Push push path. Didn't you play that with Squee and? And PJ, Squee, and uh, who's Squee? Dirty Doug, is that his name? Dirty Doug, the, these are the guys from the the Kavanaugh trial. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Squee, Dirty Doug, Mike the Dick, Mike. <laughs> you just see, you just made that up. I think I did, and yeah. that's what's funny because I have that could be actually a real one. Yeah, we're just going to double mentor. I don't think they're in a position. Do they have... They do have a conflagrate right in the graveyard, which is a little scary, but... Push, push, path. That's the game Mike plays with them. Jazz cigarettes? Yeah, that's his jazz cigarette game. Play a little uh, push, push, path. Probably just going to get rid of this guy. Let's see if you got any basics in your deck left. Okay. Not even salty that you missed the first donation because diabetes talk tickles my fancy. Oh, if you had to pick between shredding a Black Lotus or a copy of Amazing Fantasy 15, what would you pick? Uh, Black Lotus. I don't even think it's close, to be honest with you, for me anyway. What was the other one? A uh, copy of Amazing Fantasy number 15. I assume that's important. That is the first appearance of Spider Man. Hmm. So if I have to shred the first appearance of Spider Man or shred. A black lotus. So it's like shredding ten thousand versus shredding two million. No, it's not two million. I mean, it depends on the quality as well. I would assume they're of equal qualities, right? Like I assume like they're either going to be both played or both like near mint. Uh, so we'll look up Amazing Fantasy fifteen mint. We'll just look up near mint because you're never going to find. Um, it's never going to be on eBay. A one point eight goes for is selling for 16,000 on eBay so that's cool hmm. that should give you an idea where that book is uh, sitting I most I most stuff Oreos one most stuff Oreos incoming from Mike B's happy diabetes party will arrive next week wow <laughs> oh Kerwin you're the hero this stream needs we can eat them on stream and do a little uh, most stuff Oreo review yeah we can eat one just yeah. one apparently they're 110 calories each which is really disconcerting. And then the second jalapeno, we, we already read the uh, second spicy jalapeno comment. 
And 1.8 for 16 grand. Oh, here was from 2016. A comic with Spider-Man's first appearance could be Hero's most expensive ever. 9.4, a copy of Amazing Fantasy, uh, could sell for over $400,000 at Heritage Auctions. Ooh. Yeah, like Near Mint Lotuses just don't come close to this yet. Let's find out what it actually went for. Heritage Auctions Amazing Fantasy 15. Oh, it sets world record price. <clears throat> Let's see. $454,000. Ooh, that's pretty insane. For those, well, I just wanted to For those who don't know, this is what uh, this is what it looks like. I can't even tell if we're dead right now. I think we're... Come on. Look at this. Look, I'm trying to like find the tiny hitbox on the corner so I can resize, and it's not working. There we go. 9.4. This is pristine. Like, most modern comics, uh, if you if you pick them up off the shelf and put them back and pick them up and put them back and put them back, pick them up and put them back, like, those will be 9.4s at that point. So the fact that this is from 62 and still 9.4 is pretty unbelievable. So How did they get rid of our, our two mentors? They conflagrated them? Well, that's sad. Is that what happened? What did they do here? What did I miss? Did they conflict create like guy, 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 guy? That seems like... Are we just dead? I mean, yes. We can make two one ones and yeah, so... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Magic is hard. Let's bring in a rest in peace and surgicals. Sony Silence doesn't do much. Purge is... Actually, Purge is pretty good. It's probably better than Fatal Push uh, in terms of uh, those prized ammo glams mm, well that's probably okay actually it kills narcomimos and blood ghasts I can take out tangible virtue probably take out the thought seizes I don't think really care about thought seize I think this deck is just too fair I think you're too fair Got him. Did you? Yeah, I tried. I tried to get you. <laughs> Gotta go drop the husband off at work. We'll be back in a half hour if you're still gone. I won't be. I'll be gone by then. All right, so... I don't think this is good. I want to make a sandwich. Anyone need anything from the kitchen? Can you get can you get some onions? Is mama cooking those in the kitchen? Is mama in the kitchen with onions? I'm going to mulligan this hand. Okay. I'll keep this, and it'll be a reluctant keep. Triple stuffed Oreos. One Omega Chunk Oreo, please. <laughs> Wow, this is becoming a comic and Oreo stream. That was uh, unexpected. All right, what are we going to draw? Surgical extraction. Oh yeah, we scribed that. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a prized amalgam, so if we get to survive till next turn, we get to surgical the prized amalgams all out of their deck. We can just do that right now. Yeah, this nine point five actually the lotus nine point five. A nine point five lotus went for twenty four thousand. Uh that is not even close to Amazing Fantasy, interestingly enough. Creeping Chill is interesting, right? It's just deal three, gain three. But, like, you get to play it for free because you mill it. Yeah, look at that. A, a, a Mint 9. Beta Lotus. $24,000. I mean, it's a good amount, but... I mean, you're talking about $454,000 for, for Amazing Fantasy 15.
Can we have onion Oreos? Delicious. We could take these bloodstained Myers. I don't think we care. Bloodstained? Wait. No, I said bloodstained. And then I thought you said bloodstained Oreos, and I was like, wait, that's really weird. That's not a thing, right? But it was I. It was I who said bloodstained. No, shut up, you weirdo. That's fair. Oh, I like what's going on here. Is it better to, to mill this guy? Or to do it now or wait till they dredge something? I don't know. I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm only three and a half years old. I had, like it's just so random. Like, what is, is that from something? <laughs> Encourage the cowardly dog. Oh my! God. That's the most random shit I've ever heard. Okay, let's resolve this guy. I only have three in the deck. Is one in your hand? You just got to hard cast that dude. All right. What do you have in here to deal with? You got Abrupt Decay. Oh, there's none in your hand. All right, that is your hand, though. I don't think you're going you're gonna to show this to me, so I'm going to have to save this the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. Conflagrate, Conflagrate, Faithless, Lightning Axe. So you're going to Lightning Axe this guy. Your hand is pretty bad. You're going to Lightning Axe, discard Stinkweed Imp. That kind of sucks, but... Only three prize amalgams. That's fascinating. Look exactly what happened. Lightning axe with stinkweed imp. Sure. Whatever. I got mentors for days. This is actually surprisingly obnoxious, right? Like, if they hit all four, it's just 12 damage, and they gain 12. Wait, how does it work? Uh, if, it, if it's put in your graveyard from your library, you may exile it. If you do, it deals three damage to each opponent, and you gain three life. Hmm. So they've done it twice. Like, if they pass the law that you all have to pay 20 per porn clip, a lot of lonely guys... That's a thing? That's interesting. I think we can take a turn for the mentor. Like they don't have conflagrate. Their hand was like literally they have nature's claim and no stinkweed imp. They played what land did they play? Bloodstain mire? Sure. So they don't have a bloodstain mire. They don't have a lightning axe. They don't have a stinkweed imp. So their hand is nature's claim, wooded foothills, gemstone mine, other bloodstain mire, and whatever they drew. Okay, I think we're good with mentor here. I don't foresee us blocking with the monk. We'll probably just take four. I don't think we're winning this match, unfortunately. But maybe we are. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. Maybe yeah. we are. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time you'll think more. God, I don't about know about that. Thinking. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. Huh. Should have refilled my drink before I started streaming. I have that empty drink regret. Regret. That empty drink regret. And I played other Bloodstained Mire. This is their hand now. Oh, well, they hit nar two Narcomivas. It's your Narky boy. How did those get? Oh, because they, they dredged. All right, I got you. I got you. I was like, how'd those get into the graveyard? From dredging, stupid. And they discarded what? Probably the two stinkweeds that they dredged. So their hand is still like gemstone, nature's claim, wooded foothills as far as we know. It's just so hard to keep track of like the cards in hand when they're playing dredge because it's like... The cards in hand mostly don't matter either. 
Access denied. I got your email. I will respond to it tonight. Appreciate it, buddy. What'd you say to me? Said for you to shut up. Did you say that? No. <laughs> no. I wish I drew a land here so then I could path to exile something, but... Are we just dead to conflagrate? They have five cards in hand. They go to six, so they pay two. Um, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. They discard six cards. We go to two. And then either one of these is lethal, so we have to have three blockers here, but also a blocker for this guy. Well, like I said, we're just dead here, right? Because we can't block these at all, so we take two here. They pay two, and then they six with conflagrate us. Yeah, it feels bad, man. These guys float, I guess. We could have blocked, but... The problem is we have to block all five. Or we have to block... We're not going to win. We're not going to win that match. Well, not with that attitude. That's correct. Yeah, the spirits block Narcos, but then, like, the spirits aren't blocking the two ones. So then it's just awkward. Like, we're not actually able to force through any damage, which is really... Bad. Yeah, I don't like being 0-3 here with this deck, because I think this deck is sweet. What'd you say? What are you doing over there, man? You playing with those Kirk Clan Ironworks? You doing something yeah, suspicious over there? I was playing with those Kirk Clan Ironworks. Mm -hmm. The contraband. Your mother's made of contraband. Is she? Probably. It's hard to say, you know. This deck has not been performing that well. I agree, and I don't know why, because it actually looks cool. I think, again, it's just too fair. Manate. Let's get rid of the pack rats. Why? Because I just don't think they're doing it. Let's take out Intangible Virtue Pack Rat. Let's go back to the Honor of the Pure Plan. Okay. The problem with Rune Halo is that they had the same answers for Rune Halo that they had for um rest in peace right like they're gonna bring in things like conflagrate or not uh, they're gonna bring in things like nature's claim they're gonna bring in things like um they had something else in their deck other than abrupt decay so like they have answers for for rune halo you know i'd rather just go with like rest in peace or surgical to get sort of the threats themselves I feel like we need some sort of threat that comes down before turn three. But I don't know what it is. It might just be honor so that when you play something like Mentor or Lingering Souls, they're just super strong. Right? So then, like, you're coming out of the gate a lot stronger than you would be otherwise. Let's just play four honors. Let's just go honor to the wall, as they say. Honor to the wall. Maybe, like, raise the alarm? Maybe, like, three raise the alarm? Yeah, sure. That's my son? Who's your son? Uh, I'm your dad. What's going on, Katie? Good seeing you, as always, my friend. Oh, a splash for black soul. Splash of black for soul. Um, Because I think all these white cards are really strong. Fatal Push, Inquisition, Thoughtseize. Same thing with Knight's Whisper. Knight's Visper. Same thing with Knight's Visper. Hmm. Okay. Good talk. Yeah, we could play Bitter Blossom. I do like Bitter Blossom, but then I lean towards then I lean more towards Honor of the. I was actually thinking Bitter Blossom the other day, just because uh, it does trigger Monastery Mentor. Like I want things that are that are going to trigger Mentor after we cast Mentor. Like if I draw Bitter Blossom, it still triggers Mentor. But like, are we too close to too close to a good deck? <laughs> <laughs> like I try to respect the fact that people are trying to do different things, right? You're not just trying to strictly play. What are you doing? It's because of the cord. The cord is still loose. It's like, it's it's this kind of moving it. See what I mean? Oh, I got you. It's because the cord is still like, it's still taut. It's not It's not super loose. It's not super malleable taut, like yet. Taut like a tiger? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. What does brutality do? I just don't think it does much. Like, tell me why you think it's good. 
So against the Eldrazi deck, I don't think it would have done much that anything that these... The only thing it would kill is... <clears throat> like, we played three decks so far, and I don't think Brutality would have done anything against any of them. Brutality against Dredge is terrible. It doesn't... It doesn't. They have no sources, sorcerers or instants that, that they're not going to Dredge back anyway. Um, they have... Anyway, you get my you get my point. <laughs> and then we played two Eldrazi lists, and like it's not gonna kill any Eldrazi. They don't have instants or sorcerers that we can take really, except for like all is dust. So like I mean, against the decks we played, I don't think it's really that great. It's cool to say like it would be good in the vacuum. I messed up. I put salsa on this PB and J instead of jam. My mother was right. I'm a failure. So it's a you'd say it's a PBS. Let's see. You got the public broadcast system. Of, public broadcast system of sandwiches. Steve, I just saw your I just saw the the donation you sent and I realized it was uh twice as much as it should be and I was like, "Wait, why is this?" Oh, and your first question is don't ask me why I should spend I spend money I shouldn't. <laughs> all right, it's all making sense now. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you so much. I had McDonald's french fries. They were the best. This is yeah, that doesn't sound uh as bad as peanut butter and salsa. Okay, so anyway, where were we here? We got a little distracted. Can I also add Skull Clamp? Can we put Skull Clamp in the deck? Um, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. What about Jitte? Ooh. Skull. Duh, 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 duh. Is the deck better now? I guess you just play four, right? Yeah, definitely four. Is the deck better now? I think so. Hmm. I really do like Bitter Blossom. Yeah, but then Honor's awkward. Right, so do we go back to Virtue then? Sure. <sighs> All right, fine. I think I think one of the, I think their Bitter Blossom or Raise Alarm gives you something to do on turn two, which you really need. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right, whatever. So the question is, do we play three Intangible Virtues and four Bitter Blossoms, or the reverse? You definitely play four Bitter Blossoms. Yeah, Don't be right. crazy. <laughs> Don't be. I kind of when we play Bitter Blossom, and because of the life loss. I kind of want a second Vault of the Archangel. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's probably better than Westvale Abbey. Yeah, we've like barely ever had five creatures. You never have five creatures, nor do you ever have six mana to activate this to make a guy. And I think Vault of the Archangel actually just wins games you have no right to be winning. All right. You said you want to raise the alarm also? No, I don't want both. Okay. I'm going to add the other Intangible Virtue over a Knight's Whisper because I think that's probably stronger. Come on, we can do this. We can get in here in time. We could get in here in time. We did it. Oh, God. You. Yeah, I think Westvale Abbey is just a cute... It's just a cute land that people like playing. Um, but I don't think it's actually that great. It's just a lot of work. That's what I say about our friendship. I'm like, oh, God, this is exhausting. I deal with it, though, because, you know, you're funny sometimes. And, yeah, and you got a good personality, but it's what a lot of work, man. Villy with the gifted sub to access denied who actually just donated for two decks which is super sweet so now it's all it's all perfect now what are we playing against you think we're playing against some uh some some phoenixes i bet it's grape shots you think it's grape shots <laughs> let's find out let's take a peek let's take a gander this makes it less fun. Now well, we're just gonna know. Now we're just gonna know. Yeah, so the suspense is gone. Oh, it is great. Oh shot. my god, you were right. Called it. I guess we just take Baral, right? This hand's pretty terrible without this Baral. Yeah. More like the graveyard. The graveyard. Nailed it. These are all Blizzard dogs, by the way. This is my friend Steph. She works at Blizzard. And you, they, everybody takes their dogs to work there. It's in, it's unbelievable. That's amazing. It's amazing, yes. What, they play Steam Vents Tapped? Sure. 
Let's see if we don't die. I don't want to die, so let's see if we don't die. Did it just spell pierce? Are grapes magic's most frightening fruit? Find out next time on Scrober Ball Mike. Uh, find out next time on Scrober Ball Mike. <laughs> I can't even. Sometimes there's things I read and I'm just like, I don't know how I, I don't know why that's a thing. Oh, God. We have to kill this, right? No. Are you being serious? You can give him one turn. Don't they just go like one mana ritual, add three, passed in flames for three, mm -hmm. use the three, ritual, ritual, serum visions, opt. Like, I mean, they just go off, right? Maybe. Is it just better to kill this and play a second bitter blossom? I don't know, man. Sorry to be that guy just jumping in, but this is a modern deck critique, yes. And also, that's not, that's a totally reasonable question. We're on the player of the draw. Who? Us. Why is Matt? We play a land. We play the land. Otherwise, I would just go mentor into this. Okay. And it wouldn't even be a question. Yeah, kill it. All right, I'm just going to kill it now. I do worry about the consequences of having two bitter blossoms in a deck that's probably going to try to grape shot us out, but, you know. You only live once, guys. True. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a solid, solid meme there. Mana Morpho. Also, it's worth noting that the decks that uh, Access Denied submitted look pretty ridiculous. One of them is a literal witch deck with actual witches in it. Oh, all right. Now we're talking. You know what they say. I don't. Witches get stitches. Do they get stitches? Yeah. Have you ever met a witch that had some stitches? Yeah. Every day, bro. Like the Jake Paul song? Yeah. It's every day, bro. We got past, desperate ritual, poetic flame. Um, see, here's the problem, because then they just get to past in flames, right? Yeah, but if you get rid of past in flames, it's a lot harder, because flashback is like six. It's five. Okay, it's five. But can't they go ritual, ritual? So they get six mana, they pay it for five. And then they have one more to start ritualing again. If we get rid of a ritual, they can go land, they have five mana. They're doing it no matter what. So I think you get rid of ritual. So they go one, two for ritual, which they'll have one of left. Then they'll have three, four, five, six mana. They can pass in flames for four. And then they just play rituals. I guess we just grew up past. Because it, it's the only thing that makes things cost more. Oh, God. It just doesn't feel good. That's the only one I can attack with this turn? Oh, my God. Why don't they have haste? Wow. Is there a way to give these dudes haste? Not in these colors. These colors don't run. Because they're not hasty. I got you. They walk usually. Usually. Yeah, it's a walking. These are walking colors. There's a play on the, the these colors don't run. It was an Amer American slogan that they used. Represent, represent the flag. Just please stop explaining <laughs> things. <laughs> they didn't do anything. All right, so they're basically dead here, right? No. no. I know. Oh, another mentor. No, man, it's time to linger. I'm sorry, what? It's time to start lingering. Is that what you said? It sounded like you said term to like right? It sounded like you said something different. Shut up. Okay. I'm going to assume that means I was correct. If we draw on Tanzer Virtue, you know how good that is? They're dead on they're dead on the spot. They're already dead. No, they they get one turn to go off next turn. They can pass ritual ritual and see what they see what they end up with. Right, I'm saying this is there's this, this is the last turn. Oh, they're already dead on the spot. Yeah. I got you. Even without the uh Three, four, six, seven, eight. They go to eleven. Yeah, seems good. Bam. 
Thank you. Draylax, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Whoop, live stream mics instead of YouTube mics. So much better. Agreed. I agree with you. I'd rather be alive than not alive. I'd rather be alive than not alive. Wow. That's a hot take. That is a hot take. You're welcome. You can have that one. You can that's take so, That's so 2015 of you. Well, that's where I'm from. So. Wait, that's not the future. Shit. <laughs> a mistake has been made. Because everyone's into killing themselves now, you know? So, like, that was, like, old school, you know? Because you, like, you're not into it. What? Wait, now? Yeah, there's all these memes about, you know, killing yourself. There's really? Of, yeah, there's a lot of memes about that. I haven't seen any of these memes, thankfully. Is this a Reddit thing? God, you spend like, so much more time about on, the, on Reddit even about than that I one of the lands. It's like, guess I drew all lands. Guess, guess I'll, I'll die. die. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's about dying. I don't know if everything is about dying. Everything's about dying. All right, well, I'll they have to go off here. Again. What? I'll hit you again. Don't <laughs> I'll hit you again. I got a letter from my dentist. Yeah, it was a handwritten. No. Mm. I'll read it to you guys, though. You're, o you're overdue for your dental checkup and cleaning. We'd like to help you keep your smile healthy, so give us a call and schedule your next appointment. So I have to do that, like, probably tomorrow. Blink if you need help. Well, I'm going to be blinking anyway, so this is, this is awkward. All right, so I think... you can't blink. Don't you dare blink. I'll blink you again. All right, here we go. They have one card and they have one, two, three cantrips. So they have to like hit a, a grape shot. I mean, if they do, we're dead. If they don't, we're alive. Well, they also need 11 storm count. No, we're at, we're at 11, so they need... Wait, grape shot deals one, right? Yeah, so they need 11 storm count. Oh, God, I'm so used to Vintage Cube where it's tendrils. Well, they actually need nine because we have Dull Bitter Blossom. Oh, sure. Yeah, which is significantly better for them. Because the storm, the the grape shot itself would be, uh, would be one more here. So they, they're at eight. So if they can, they can go opt grape shot, or they can just concede if they suck. If they suck. You're literally reading junk mail on stream. I would say you've run out of things to talk about, but I'm laughing pretty hard. So I guess I'm the idiot here. Got him. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna grape shot us. Wow. They actually got there. Lucky, 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 lucky. And it's funny, these bitter blossoms killed us. Hey, remember the time you needed to hit exactly grape shot? It's just exhausting sometimes. Magic is just exhausting. We're having a good time. All right, put your storm triggers on the stack. Are you going to do something else? Because this isn't good enough? Un what does that do? I, I like that you did that after the storm trigger. I don't know what's going on. Why would you do that? Sure, now I'm dead. I don't know what the point of that was. Uh, I'll put Grape Shot on the stack and then I'll bounce one of your things. All right, well, whatever you, whatever you want to do, buddy. Rest in peace. Paths can come out pretty easily. Actually, Paths and Fatal Pushes. I don't care about that other dude nearly as much. Uh, but, uh, Cam Ball is actually pretty insane. Cam Ball, <laughs> Cam Ball. Little, little Cam Ball. This is a really good song. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Am I welcome? No. What? Yeah. More of the time your opponent had exactly what they needed, exactly when they needed it. Oh, wait, that's basically all the time. That's true, Dan. That is true. I try not to think about it because I feel like it's confident. Like, it's just me being like, well, it's my stream and these are my matches and I'm losing. So clearly they have it all, but they really do. I try to be a little more self-aware than that, but, you know, it's it's hard. It's difficult. Self-awareness is a, is a difficult, it's a difficult thing to grapple with. You like grappling? I don't. I don't know what that even means. I'll be honest with you. If a man comes up to you and says, 
you like grappling <laughs> just probably walk away at that point can this can this deck even win through rest in peace damping sphere of thoughtsies why'd you bring in damping sphere because each other spell a player cast costs one more for each other spell they cast this turn oh yeah get wrecked you dummy i didn't know it did that it's like one of the main come on well, the main thing was the land part you're the main thing you're the land part you're all those things that you just said oh electromancer put you in the trash can as a creature electromancer is one of the few things we cannot kill so why not because we boarded a lot of our removal why would you do that because they don't have many creatures yeah, but the ones they do have are pretty important. Yeah, but I don't care about them, so. You should. I don't. Yeah, those are blue red, so I don't know how they. Well, I guess they could have artifact tape, but. They don't. They're not going to bring that nonsense in. They're going to bring in the next game. Go on. Well, that's off to you. I guess we'll just play this and we'll just make it impossible for you to do anything. Hey, quick question. You boys like grappling? <laughs> <laughs> the quick question is really what got me. Hey, quick question. <laughs> you guys like... Uh, Grappling? Grappling? Sir, I don't know what that means. I have to get up now. You have to get up now? Yeah. My butt hurts. I'm going to get a drink. My butt hurts. <laughs> I have to get up now. My butt hurts. <laughs> so random, dude. I mean, after this match, I'm probably going to pause. Whatever, dude. Oh, like, like this is the matchup where, like, we actually have all the necessary sideboard things. We just don't have any mana to cast our three drops. So, like, this is just not our day, unfortunately. Is wet cat food between two slices of American cheese a sandwich? <laughs> God. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. I guess this surgical extraction is pretty awkward now, right? Because we have the rest in peace out. However, one thing to note, uh, they could have... Is unsubstantiate just a creature? Because that's kind of weird. That's kind of narrow, right? Target spell or creature to it. Okay, so it's a creature you can return to its owner's hand, but otherwise only spells. So it's basically like a remand that can also bounce creatures. Give me one land here. Come on. We did it. Froggy went a court and a heated ride a Campbell. Froggy went a court and a heated ride a Oh yeah, give me that give me that two that delicious two life. Noble Phoenix, feel free, buddy. Sounds good. Alright, give me two more. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna mentor here. So we can Lingering Souls here, and next turn we can Intangible Virtue and Lingering Souls. Maybe. We can't. If we hit a land, we can. We can also just play Soren next turn. I think it's probably just better Lingering Souls here. Mm-hmm. Lunas Games, what's going on, buddy? 
How's Canada? Probably pretty sweet. Canada seems like an alright place to be. Alright. Seems good. Doesn't seem great. So we can thought seize you and still play intangible virtue here and trigger a bunch of things. That seems good. We also don't get to flashback uh, Lingering Souls because there's a card called Rest in Peace in Play. Literal nothing. Okay. Yeah, this seems good. <laughs> like, they just don't have... Like, if they want to just put four goblins in front of our, our mentor, just kill it. Like, that's fine. Is Talent Trooper in this set? I don't think so. Also, this is a modern event, so it's hard to say that it's in... It is in the modern set, if that's what you're asking. All right, that was your top deck. Good to know. That was that was your second spell, which was reduced by Goblin, but also increased by Damping Sphere. So this is breaks even, and every other spell is going to cost one more. And you're still kind of in like... Oh, we just win the game. Sounds good. Okay, so... Huh. I kind of do like Fatal Push just to deal with the 1-1s. One -ones. Bring in two Fatal Push, take out one Thought Seize, take out one Surgical. And we still have six one-mana removal spells, which I think is fine. Sorry, I tried cropping. My computer's acting strange. I just uploaded it. All right, you always just pack one, pick one. <laughs> that's actually the perfect screenshot wow that's great um in my limited experience with this format um i would actually take the 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 red the gruel card that actually destroys something the fight something in the bottom the plus two plus two and fight i think that card's very good Uh, the sand seems fine. Any cute two drops? We'll pick that one though, because I didn't top it a pro tour and you <laughs> Modal Blightning's okay. My problem is the, the the first part, the one mana part of the Modal Blightning is like it's pretty bad. Like I just don't think it does anything really exciting. Um Alright, so your hand is pretty bad. You have empty the warrens, which is cute, but I'm just gonna take the opt because it Cuts off some of your options. Your options. <laughs> Caspi, I did not. Or maybe I did. I don't know, actually. So you have, you played this. 
like we're not in a position to care about rest in peace they probably boarded out all the the rest in peace things so there's no reason we should actually lose our lingering souls uh to a rest in peace that could be of no threat so shivan reef i think it's funny that the shivan reef actually tucked itself in between these two lands like you played the new shivan reef and it just fit right in between these two it didn't actually uh hey noble phoenix no problem buddy no problem all right ritual sure is this just a really aggressive ritual at manamorph oh it's an episode for six sure yeah that's actually fine I mean, I can also bounce one, which is fine. I'd like to land here so we can go intangible into Lingering Souls. I imagine they unsubstantiate one of these attack for five, which is actually pretty good. Hmm. That's actually also not bad, especially with Surgical Extraction in hand. I mean, they could just unsubstantiate the monster mentor as well. Seems fine if they want to do that. And they do. No, they want to do something else. Cryptic command? Gifts ungiven. This is actually fine. We have surgical hand. This is actually great. It's not great, but it's fine. Even if they unsubstantiate the surgical, we can just recast it because it costs zero. All right, so we don't want you to have Echoing Truth. Put two cards into the graveyard. We'll put Echoing Truth and Past in Flames in the graveyard, I guess. So we have one card in hand, which is unsubstantiate. Yeah, we don't want you to have Echoing Truth, and we don't want you to have Past and Flames. Yeah, we're probably just going to Surgical during your upkeep, I think. You don't... We know your hand is Baral, Unsubstantiate, and Electromancer. But I want to do it on your turn because then this guy gets pumped. I don't know if that's super relevant, but... Also, if they do want to uns unsubstantiate this, like, we just get to uh, play it again. So it gives them the, the small opportunity to misplay here. So this is like the only copy of Past in Flames. That's super cute. So your hand is Grape Shot as well. Okay. Now I regret doing it during your turn, but that's fine. Like you could just go, you don't have a land here. 
I guess you could draw land. We should have done during draw step, I guess. Minor thing I did not consider. Yep, there's Brawl. So you could go like unsubstantiate this, grape shot for what, one, two, three, four, and then shoot two of these. This is where they attack for, oh. Interesting. I was not expecting that because uh, I was expecting that to be their grape shot turn because if they attack with everything, it's so much easier to kill all my guys because we'd have to block. But now it should be really hard to win through either grape shot or empty the warren attacks. Oh, they're just going to... Oh, sure. Okay. That's fine. Shambling Vent uh, doing us a dirty here. This is this is too many creatures to not attack with. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ravage Worm, pack 2, pick 1. Nice. That's pretty gas, dude. That card's great. Yep, if you want to lose 3 of these guys, I'm okay with it. Yep, sure. Put them all in front. I think we're good. I think we're good with what the uh, what the monastery mentor has give, have gift has gifted us this game. Also, if we uh, if nothing goes wrong, we can go lingering souls into intangible, which pumps these guys a ton, and uh, it just kills them. No, it doesn't kill them yet, but it's close. All right, pyrotic ritual. Now we know your hand is electrom. I should put electromancer first, then you can go one two electromancer ritual for one unsubstantiate something and then grape shot for like four that yeah, doesn't seem great so in your hand is unsubstantiate oh no you played the unsubstantiate so you have one random card and grape shot wipe away wow actual perfect wipe away and fork triggers to kill my whole board wow Whew. right they're really across only red I, I literally I'm I know which is why I said add to your storm count and they did it anyway so hmm this doesn't do anything so you can go virtue into they have no cards in hand yeah this is fine Mike B was here, and then he's like, I gotta walk around. My butt hurts. And I was like, all right, I'll see you later. One, two, three, four, five. So if we just play second intangible ritual, you're probably dead. Unless you happen to have, like, literal echoing truth or snapcaster into echoing truth. Or you're dead. Wow, the one match we win is the Storm deck. That's pretty sweet. I mean, honestly, I do like this configuration. I think what the deck was missing was action on turn two. You want something to play on turn two, and you also want a way to make your tokens bigger because you are essentially a token strategy. So you have Lingering Souls, Mentor, Soren, Gideon, and, and now you have Bitter Blossom. And I think Intangible Virtue does fit that bill. Uh, I'm actually going to end real quick, so you might as well not even sit down. But, uh, yeah, I think this deck is sweet. I... I I don't know. We only played like one match with this version, but I think this is good. I think Bitter Blossom really adds a lot. And also being able to go Bitter Blossom into like Intangible Virtue or Lingering Souls or even one of the Planeswalkers is pretty good. It, it does. It is reminiscent of a black-white token deck, but I think it's, it's always going to be. I think if you had to cut anything else, you could probably cut one of these six one-mana spells or definitely the seventh uh, one of these guys if you want like maybe like a Liliana in here or something like that. Um... But the deck is sweet. I think the deck is fine. I like Monastery Mentor being a, a, a central figure, especially in modern. Uh, I can see playing like Gut Shots or Mutagenic Growths. Those would be kind of cool and as a way to like protect Monastery Mentor and also give you like a free spell to always get a token off Mentor. But um, yeah, 
always a good time. Haji Galashi, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to play this. If you guys want to submit your own decks to critique, you can check me out on... Uh, the links are in my Twitch and my Patreon page are in the description below. You can find those. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore as well. And you'll get 15% off, off, off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.